Hello and welcome to clickcentral.com. In this video we're talking about using tabs within the load script effectively. So if I open up the, the tab, the script editor, you'll see here really what, what's not um, best practice. Here I've got a single tab and I've added the code for the whole script within this single tab. Now, as luck would have it, it's quite a short script, it's only sort of 100 lines of code, there thereabouts. Um, but very recently I've seen a script developed um, for a company which had over a thousand lines um, of code within a single script and, um, tab and no further tabs. So I'll we'll show you the same script but done using tabs. So here we've got tabs across the top. Now there's a couple of ways to insert tabs. You can use a tab menu and add a tab. Nice and straightforward, you can edit the name there. Or if you like to, I, I want to make this say uh, this new line on a tab of its own so I can insert a tab at the cursor point, my cursor point being there, and that'll take that that um, bit of code across to a new tab. Okay. I'll just move that back tidy it up a little bit, we'll remove these two tabs because we don't need them. Obviously it gives you an error, a, a warning message if you do this and you've got any code there it cannot be undone so be very careful. But taking across the tabs we now can divide the script into sort of unique parts so we can set up the loop, we can start the loop, we can load, we can store, we can end the loop and as well I used to use a little these are within a, a for next loop, so I use a little um, sort of arrow um, just to sort of help me really identify where loops start and end within the script. Um, it makes things a lot help more easier um, when you're uh, debugging uh, a script further down the line. It makes it easy to understand what's going on within the script, and it really is best practice. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, a lot more. Um, blogs and videos at Click Central on YouTube and also on the blog clickcentral.com. Love to hear comments about this or any other ideas for future videos or future blog ideas in the comment sections. And thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.